okay so now I'm going to demonstrate how to enable the reverse DNS lookup for the web server right. now I'm going to access the website I have posted on my server from my Windows XP client I'm going to type in the address for my website which is www.dell.brand and then my website has come up okay. now when we go back to the server we can go on the IIS manager Going down on the site, I'm going to check the login. Now, in the log file, there are a specific set of fields that you can select to be displayed in the log file. And by default, you'll see the client's IP address. But with reverse DNS lookup now, when that's enabled in the log file, we'll see the DNS name on the log file. So I just selected a few here. Alright, for my log file. And you can specify the directory where you want the log file to be created. I can put in log files too and a new folder will be created then you can schedule the different options to when a new log file will be created so mine's on hourly I click apply and changes will be saved now we can go and access the log file So this is the log file here, and these are my fields to be displayed, S computer name, that is server name, the server IP, the port, the username of the client, the client IP, and the client user agent, which, is, which tells you the type of browser they use to access the website. So if you look for the server name, we have server 8, server IP address 192.168.1.1, the port is 80, and for the username we see a hyphen, and for the IP address we see 192.168.1.3, which actually is the IP address of my Windows XP machine. Now I'm going to configure my server to enable the reverse DNS. So I go to Server Manager, I drop down my rules, and on Web Server here, I right click and select Add Role Services. I'm going to add IP and domain restrictions so you just see like that now this can be added when you're doing the initial installation of the web server you click next and install so my installation is complete I click close and I can close off the server manager now I'm going to go back to my IIS manager and go back down to the website so we drop in on the server sites my website and I'm gonna double click on IPv4 address and domain restrictions 
I'm going to open it, I'm going to go to the right here and click edit feature settings and you got to check this enable domain name restrictions click ok now if I go back to my Windows XP machine and I go back to the website I should see a change in the log file back over on the server. Okay. So here I have the log file after the reverse DNS is enabled. And we'll see the difference here. We still have the server name, server 8, server IP, the port. But if you look here, under, well the hyphen is still here for username, but for the IP address we see the domain name, or the DNS name, for the computer, winxp.dumbtest.com. So that's the purpose of the reverse DNS. And below here, well we see the username, because I use these credentials to access the directory browsing which needed authentication so it shows the username for this here is what the reverse DNS does converts the IP address into the DNS name